Well, hello everybody. Um, we just finished putting up the um, the wood for the screen. I'm going to show you a sample of it here on the floor. So here's what it is. It's five millimeter. Uh, it's a plywood of sorts. About eleven bucks a piece at uh, Home Depot. So now you know what it looks like. This is the piece we had to cut off to make that angle right there. And uh, this whole project was um, inspired by John Knob, which if you look him up on YouTube, you'll find that he does an awful lot of testing for all of us. And uh, that's where this is coming from. So this is obviously, it looks like crap, right? I was broadcasting it onto this textured wall and it was okay, but it needs to be better. So this wood is like, glass smooth it's awesome it'll take paint really good so because it's brown i'm going to paint it with this color first and then on this if you look up john's uh, 18 to 1 uh screen it's a bright screen with a gain of at least 1.0 that's what i'm thinking i'm going to put on here i might go with one of the charcoal colors or something but um, i need to go to something neutral besides brown um, it kind of distracts your eyes. Um, it's hard to see and it's daytime now, so um, it's a little hard to watch. I did it today instead of yesterday because yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday and my Broncos were in it, so go Broncos. Um, anyway, the, um, the, the picture itself from that corner to that corner is 154 inches. Um, the choice we made today, at least for a while, is right here there's an outlet, but I didn't make a cutout for it. And there was an outlet right here, and I didn't make a cutout for it. Um, that way I can actually expand this picture to any size I want. Um, let's see. So you see my shadow on the wall. I'm six foot tall. And uh, let's see, where is it? Okay, so there I am. So that's six foot. And you can just tell how big the whole thing is. So it's really nice at night, you know, at least it was. This brown is going to kill this picture pretty bad till I get it painted. So uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, paint it up the same color as the wall so it's more neutral. And then um, that'll actually probably make it look really good because it'll have no texture. And it'll be, um, it's just a little bit off white in here. It's not pure white, just a little off. Anyway. Thanks to John and all his hard work, and uh, this is what I ended up with. And it's gorgeous, man. Um, still thinking about, you know, trimming it with black trim all the way around and stuff, but we'll see. That corner, <coughs> corner makes it a little challenging, but uh, these speakers aren't, if I, if they weren't so wide this way, I could rotate them up and stick them clear out of the way, and now I could actually lower the picture more and make it bigger, but... I got what I got. These are old pieces of crap from the 80s. Same with uh, that big monster and its brother over there. But, you know, with this digital amplifier, it works really good. I mean, they, they pound plenty. I just picked up that sub off of uh, Craigslist. And it's just amazing, man. This, this place, it's just unbelievable how, how great it sounds. So, um... It's better to have cheap speakers than no speakers at all. Just playing it out of your television really sucks, or in this case, out of the projector. Playing it out of that little tinny ass speaker, that's just a joke. I mean, if it's all you got, it's all you got, but um, that looks just, just fantastic to me. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Thanks, John, for all your hard work, man. You've inspired this project completely, man. So uh, just gotta figure out what color to make it after I white it out and maybe do some filling. There was one seam up there that's just a little wide and I don't know if the paint will fill it so we're probably going to fill it with a little bit of drywall spackle and sand it down good. Alright, that's it for now. See you bye.